All right, let's see how we do in Richmond, Virginia. It's been a little while since we've shown how autopilot navigates through here. If you've been through here on 95, you know that autopilot has some challenges here because you get into some areas where there's a lot of traffic. Whoa, I just slammed on the brakes. I don't know what that was about. It was a shadow braking. Maybe it knew that that guy was going to do something bad. A girl, whoever that is. But uh, this is 528 on a weekday in the afternoon, rush hour. Going over the James River. There's another Tesla up there. There's the Model S. We're passing that Model S right by. This is where it gets twisty. And I'm right behind a rental truck and I'm sure that a person, whoa, I've seen a lot of brake lights. We're gonna have some panic braking here, I think. Hmm. That truck just moved out of the way. That might have been a smart move. Autopilot seems to be not averse to taking any risk. Oh, 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 look at the panic braking. Whoa, whoa, man. That was some panic braking. I saw that. I saw it before Autopilot see, saw it. And if I saw it, you'd think Autopilot should have seen it, right? You'd think. But for some reason it didn't. Oh, another pan. That's like a shadow. See? I think it braked on a shadow. It does that still. Phantom braking. That's what it's called, right? Well, we caught it twice here. I think there was two phantom braking incidents in my opinion anyway some of the phantom braking or might seem like phantom braking could actually be because it's sensing someone's driving out of their lane drifting out I did a video on that too recently there we go whoa panic braking he gets right back into it very quickly I think that might have been the worst spot. Remains to be seen though. There's the Richmond sign. Uh oh, here we go, I see the braking again, I can see it. Autopilot seems to wait a little too long to do this braking when we're at high speed in a rush hour traffic situation. What do you think? You think it's being overly aggressive? I think so. I think. Autopilot has had a history of being overly aggressive as well, so it's nothing new. It's been reined in over time. And I'm, when I say overly aggressive, I, don't, I mean not only just releasing things before they should be released, which is fine if you're on beta, and that's, that's what it is, beta system, but I mean it's just aggressive in the way it, it handles these situations on the road, in my opinion. It could be a lot more conservative at the way it approaches things. Or not even just a lot more, it could be somewhat more conservative. But when, once it, get, once you get by the late braking and stuff, it's fairly pretty smooth with the way it handles everything. Once things seem to be under control anyway. I wasn't even thinking about me driving in rush hour traffic here afternoon. There's always 295 that goes around to the east. Maybe I should have taken that, but I don't think any of the GPS has told me to do that because I stopped at the Chester Supercharger like I can normally do to do a Curve of Death video. Got a bunch of those on a playlist if you want to see them. And actually, that's been regressing again. I thought we were done. I thought we didn't need it anymore. And then all of a sudden, you realize it doesn't know what it's doing, it seems like, anymore. That's what it seemed like the last time I did it, this past video, earlier today.
Are we through the worst of it? Maybe. Powerball jackpot to $750 million. That's pretty big. Yep. It's on that billboard. There's different pavement heights you can see. The left lane looks like it's repaved more recently. It's a little bit higher up than the right too, or than the center on the right lane. What are your thoughts on how it's doing? Let me know. We got more traffic, we're gonna have another slowdown here. in half a mile. Stay to the left to I-95 North. Hopefully at that point, things will start to ease up with the traffic. I don't know if it's helping or hurting that I'm following this semi truck. Stay to the left to I-95 North. Continue straight for one hour and four minutes to exit 156, Virginia 784, Dale City, Ripon Landing. Well, I think that's probably the worst of it past now. Well, let me know what you think in the comments. I think it it, whoa, look, I'm moving over. You see that? Oh, gosh, look, look what it's doing. It's blocking this guy behind me. It's like NASCAR. What the hell? Look at that. That was messed up. Sorry, it's a good thing I didn't shut it off. That person behind me is like, what in the world was that person doing? Is that person drunk? That's still, it fills the lane. I'll, I'm going to keep it on here. We got merging traffic. It moves over to fill the lane when the lane widens. That's messed up. There's the car right there that was behind me. Okay, now I think I can clearly say we're, we're through the worst of it. Okay, thanks so much for watching.